Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here again. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to bypass iPhone 5 and 5C, which are A6 device passcode lock by saving and restoring a division file. As you can see, I have an iPhone 5 black with passcode enabled and FMI is on. I'll be using the Net RAM RAM Disk tool on the Mac, as you can see. The first step is to run a few commands to install Homebrew. The first thing is to copy and paste this command to install Homebrew and let it run. This will take a lot of time, so please be patient. I already done this step, so I'll be running it again. The next step is to install libusb by entering brew install libusb as a highlight. This install libusb which is needed for the exploit and loading of RAM disk. I already done the installation, so I won't be doing it again. The last step is to link the libusb. Enter brew link libusb to the terminal. I open the terminal to show you. This is the terminal window. You should be pasting the commands here. This to link libusb to the system so you can use the exploit and RAM disk. After you're done, download NAT RAM disk from the link I'll begin in the description and allow you to extract. As you can see, I already done downloading NetRAM disk, I simply go to Downloads and open NetRAM disk. Once you get this, click Start. Select your iPhone's iOS version. For me, it's iOS 10, so I'll be selecting Boot 8 to 10. Press 2. Once it says plug the device in DFU to start, for, for the iPhone, 5 and 5C, press and hold power and home for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then let go of the power button and hold the home key until you hit DFU mode when on the black screen. Once you get the DFU mode, you can close the final window. Go back to NetRAM disk, press enter to start. You can close the final window while they are exploiting the iPhone and starting the RAM disk process. This will take some time. Click standard boot first. If there's issue, you can always go to alternative boot. Click standard to boot the standard RAM disk for your iPhone. You'll get download resources, so please be patient if you did not download if it's your first time doing it. As this is my first time doing it, I'll be waiting for the resources to download. You can close the final window where it will pop up. This is normal, has the iPhone re-establishes connection. You should get this growing line of texts as you can see. Once you get this nice little NetRemDisk logo, wait for the RemDisk mode to start, cut finish and allow it to mount the partition. This will take quite some time, so be very patient. Once you're done mounting, press enter. Then after which, press 1 to back up the activation files like your IC, the info, the SSB, com center, and activation tickets. Press 1, then copy all the files needed, press enter. Once you get this, make sure you get this file, this data out of release, check the activation record, check when you get it. Then after that, AirPlay, iTunes Control, iTunes, IC. Dash info to SSB. You should get these files. After which, you can go to back here, press 8 to erase device. Click continue to start erase. Just click continue to erase the device. Once the device erased, you should boot back to the hello screen. This will take some time. Meanwhile, you can always open back NetRAM disk. It should close automatically after the device been erased.
once the device is boot to hello screen, I could show you this activation lock. Setting up the device off the video, and this, as you can see, it is on activation locked. We'll go to restore the activation valve saved just now. The first thing is to go back to this RedNet RemDis, go repeat the step to boot the RemDis. For us, it's iOS 8 and 10. Then I press power and home together until we black screens. Once black screen let go of the power button, hold the home key down until we hit the FU mode. This will take quite some time. Be patient. Once you get this, your device is in DFU mode. Press enter to start. Once you get this, if you have no errors previously when using standard, continue to use standard. Otherwise, use alternative RAM disk. You get this line of text again, the same thing just now, the loop RAM disk part. Then you will mount the partition, same thing just now. Once you get this, press enter. Press 2 to activate iDevice. Now allow the activation file to be restored. Press enter the return menu, then after which you can reboot your device by pressing 4 and allow the device to be reboot. The tool should close automatically. With this passcode bypassed by saving activation files and restoring them, you get signal, iTunes scene, and other features like notification, iCloud. I won't, be, I won't be testing iCloud and notification. I'll be showing the signal works though on this phone and even Siri as well. Now the phone's booting up as you can see. I'll test the SIM card feature. I will set up the device though. Unfortunately, you didn't skip properly, so I have to set up the device. And boom, you are on the home screen. I can test Siri. Turn on Siri. Hello Siri, what's the weather in Singapore right now? As you can see, Siri works. Without the ic.info the SIC file on iOS 10, it can result in no CV functionality. Now I'll be inserting a SIM card. Please note, 3G and 2G networks are shutting down in some countries, hence signal might not work for you. For me, 3G will only shut down in July, so I will still be able to make calls on the iPhone 5 and 5C or 5S. I right now I have no service. Now I got I got wait. Cancel. Cancel. I got FaceTime pop-ups. I'll update my carrier settings. Yeah. I'm still trying to get the signal to work though. Currently I getting my sig signals are glitching. So I'll just restart the set reset the airplane mode. If some case it happens, just put on airplane mode and load and put it out of airplane mode. Start up signal as you can see. I will turn off Wi-Fi to show you that carrier is working. However, it's on the 3G network though, of course. Please note that iPhone 5, 5C and 5S doesn't support VOLT. On speakerphone, as you can see, as you can see, the phone calls works. I'm calling customer service, and the timer is moving. I was unable to capture the the speakerphone. As you can see, calls work.
that's all for this tutorial video. I really do hope that you enjoy the video. Please like, share and comment my video and please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again in another video soon.